Today you're going to see how you can move data from Oracle to Azure SQL Server running in the cloud in real time using stream and change data capture. So you have data in lots of Oracle tables on premise and you want to move this into Microsoft Azure SQL Server in real time. How do you go about doing this without affecting your production databases? Well, you can't use SQL queries because typically these would be queries against a timestamp, like table scans that you do over and over again, and that puts a load on the Oracle database, and you can also skip important transactions. You need change data capture, and CDC enables non-intrusive collection of streaming database change. Stream provides change data capture as a collector out of the box. This enables real-time collection of change data from Oracle, SQL Server, and MySQL. Now, CDC works because databases write all of the operations that occur into transaction logs. Change Data Capture listens to those transaction logs, and instead of using triggers or timestamps, it directly reads these logs to collect operations. This means that every DML operation, every insert, update, and delete, is written to the logs, captured by Change Data Capture, and turned into events by our platform. So in this demo, you're going to see how you can utilize Stream to do real-time collection of change data capture from your Oracle database and deliver that in real time into Microsoft Azure SQL Server. Also going to build a custom monitoring solution for the whole end-to-end -end data flow. First, we'll connect to Microsoft Azure SQL Server. In this instance, we have two tables, tcustomer and tcustorg, that we can show here are currently completely empty. We're going to use a data flow that we've built in Stream to capture data from our on-premise Oracle database using change data capture. You can see some of the configuration properties here and deliver that after doing some processing into Microsoft Azure SQL Server. And you can see the properties for configuring that here. To show this, we're going to run some SQL against Oracle. And this SQL does a combination of inserts, updates, and deletes against our two Oracle tables. When we run this, you can see the data immediately in the initial stream. That data stream is then split into multiple processing steps and then delivered into Azure SQL Server. And if we redo the query against our Azure tables here, you can see that the previously empty tables now have data in them. And that data was delivered live and will continue to be delivered live as long as changes are happening in the Oracle database. In addition to the data movement, we've also built a monitoring application complete with dashboard that shows you the data flowing through the various tables, the types of operations that are occurring, and the entire end-to-end -end transaction lag. This is the difference between when a transaction was committed on the source system and when it was captured and applied to the target, and also some of the most recent transactions. This was built, again, using a data flow within the stream platform. This data flow uses the original streaming change data from the Oracle database, and then applies some processing in the form of SQL queries to generate statistics. In addition to generating data for the dashboard, you could also use this as rules to generate alerts for thresholds, etc. And the dashboard itself is not hard coded. It's generated using our dashboard builder, which utilizes queries to connect to the backend. Each visualization you're seeing here is powered by a query against the backend data. And there are lots of visualizations to choose from. So we've hoped you've enjoyed seeing how to move Oracle data on-premise into the cloud using Stream.